again, fellow RC enthusiasts, it's your host Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, here to do a tutorial on how to update SRXL2 remote receivers. SRXL2 remote receivers are the latest addition in Spectrum redundant receiver technology. Essentially what SRXL2 is, is it's a higher baud rate, so faster, bi-directional communication between your remote receivers and your main receiver such as an AR6610T or an AR6370T like we have here. It uses a different cable between the two. It uses a four pin cable instead of a three pin cable like the older remote receivers. The older remote receivers weren't necessarily updatable, but these ones are. And there has been a number of updates to update them. So to update these, you will need a couple of things. As I have on the table, you'll need the USB programming cable, SPMA3065, and you'll also need an adapter. You can either make one, like I did here, or you can purchase the SPMA3066. So pretty much the same number as this one, but one digit higher. To make one, if you want, uh, this cable I have here came from a uh, SPM4649T, uh, one of our older FPV receivers and I just had to move around the pins, the little plugs, to match the uh, the pins on the receiver, such as here. So if we look at the 4650 pretty closely, it's got a little diagram. Ne Negative's gonna be on the far right, positive's right next to it. The next pin to the left is not used, so you can even skip that one. And then on the far left is the signal. So if you want to make one, you can do that with this, and then you just have to have a female servo port off of one end for the USB programming cable to plug into. And then lastly, what you're gonna need is a Windows-based PC, computer, laptop, so that you can download the Spectrum USB programmer and put it on your computer, and that will give you access to our receivers. So just to reiterate, you're gonna plug in your adapter, either the one that you make or the one that you use, into the receiver, and then you're going to plug in your USB cable, and then you'll plug in the servo looking end into the adapter, just making sure you get the polarity right, and then we'll jump down to our laptop here so you guys can follow along with the update process. The first thing you got to do is download the Spectrum PC Programmer app. And the easiest way to do that is to simply just go to the web page for the Spectrum PC Programmer USB cable. So if you just type in the part number SPMA3065 and hit enter, and then just go to the one of the top ones here, and go to the Spectrum RC one, you're gonna see PC download here on the bottom right hand, or the, you're gonna see PC download here on the top right side, you can click on that and you'll just download the top one. Right now the latest version is 3.4. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna open it up. Next up, you're going to log in. So what it says here in the top left corner, logged in as Tom. You're gonna, if you're already logged in, great. If you've been using it before, it's just gonna log you back in. And you're gonna need internet for this, so hopefully you're already connected because you just downloaded it, but hey. Just gotta say it, uh, I'm just gonna log out for demonstration sake. I'll hit log in, and then you can either log in here or you can create an account. So here you can just create an account, super easy to do, and it's gonna create an account on our Spectrum community page. So I've already created an account, I'll just hit X here, but you can create that. If you do create an account, do remember that you're gonna get an email that's gonna uh, that you're gonna need to activate. It's like an activation email for the account. So make sure that you go to your email that you provide to activate it before it allows you to log in. So I'll just go here, hit log in, and it'll say logged in as you, or as Tom, which is me. And the next thing to do is to just plug in the USB end of the SPMA3065, the USB programmer cable, into an open port on your computer. It's gonna say doot doo doo and then in the top right hand corner of the programmer, it'll say cable connected, but no device. That's because we haven't plugged into the receiver yet, into the SRXL2 receiver. If it doesn't say cable connected, if it just says, like here, no device connected, that means that the 
drivers have not installed, go ahead and close the program, unplug, you could even restart your computer, start it back up, and plug in the USB, and then start the programmer. Usually it just works, but if it doesn't, try restarting and try again. Once you've plugged in the cable, you're gonna plug in the adapter into the female, the female end to the male end of the USB programmer. Super simple, let's do that. And then we're gonna choose our receiver of choice. We'll grab our receiver of choice that needs an update. Like I said, uh, the 4650s, the 4650Cs, and the 4651s all have an update currently and things like that. So now that you have connected it up to your receiver, you're gonna click on power cable. All right, click power cable. And voila, it'll say cable and device connected up at the top right hand corner. And then you can click on the button for check for an update. You also notice that the receiver light will start to blink. That's normal. After you've clicked check for update, it's gonna bring up this dialog box that says you need to register this device. You can give it a nickname. I usually give them a nickname because you end up with a long list of different devices. You wanna be able to know what this is going into. Let's just call it SRXL2 update video. You can name it whatever you like. And then at the online update portion there, it'll tell you that there is an update available. You can either click install or you can, you can click install another version. And you can look at all the versions in the past. And then this one, we got a little note here, so just read that over. It's always a great idea to keep your stuff up to date so that it works best with its applications. Like this is a more or less a FPV receiver. We're gonna go ahead and update it. Once you click update, a little progress bar will go and then the light on the receiver will flash accordingly. Okay. And now the receiver is up to date. You can do that with all of your receivers. Let's, let's just, for, for, for giggles, let's go ahead and plug in our 4651T and update it. There it is. Check for update. I'll register it. Let's just call this LRXRX. Hit register. And there it is. We got another one that we can update to. Cool beans. All up to date. You can use the same cable with a lot of different receivers, so you're not wasting, you know, just buying this cable for one thing. It's uh, good for a lot of things. If you guys have any questions or comments, or if you have suggestions for more Spectrum Quick Hit Tech Tip videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. This is Tom signing off. Happy flying.